Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Welcome to Hectanooka One. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this very easy hat and scarf set. I post a new video every Friday and you can find it in your subscription box if you have subscribed. And you can find your subscription box in the top left of your screen on your YouTube channel. And anytime you find the videos too fast, you can slow them down by clicking on the gear icon below the video. And you can make this very easy scarf without a fringe or with a fringe. And the matching hat is also very easy to make. So let's get started. And I have lots more hat and scarf videos and I put a link below this video. I'm going to use Bernat Blanket yarn, which is a very thick yarn. It's like a chenille yarn. And for this color, I'm going to use Karen Tea Cakes. And you could also work with two strands of worsted weight yarn. And I'm using a 9mm crochet hook. And these items are worked in the pebble stitch, which is a double crochet and a single crochet, double, single, double, single. And that takes on the bit of a herringbone look. So to make the scarf, we're going to start with a chain that's as long as you would like your scarf to be. And you can make it anywhere from 70 stitches to 100 stitches. So I'm just going to do a little bit here because I've already got the items made. So you'll start with your foundation chain. And then in the second stitch from the hook, you make a single crochet. And in the next stitch, you make a double crochet. Single crochet. Double crochet. And you're going to do that all the way across your row of stitches. I'm just doing this small section. Single. And a double. And that's what that will look like. And that's the first row. So you have this double and single, double and single. So when you get to the end of the row, you'll fasten off and you'll bring in your other color and just pull it through that last stitch. And then take notice of what stitch you ended with. This was a double and this was a single. And the pebble stitch is doing the opposite in the next row. So that means I will need a double crochet here. So instead of a double crochet, I'm going to chain two and turn. Now that next stitch was a double, so I'll make a single crochet. And then I'll make a double crochet in the next stitch because it was a single. And then I'll make a single crochet here. And then a double. So this was a double, so I'll make a single. And this was a single, so I make a double. single, double, single, and a double. And at the end of that row, I'll bring in my other color in the last stitch, and I'll turn my work. And that was a double, so I'll start with a single, double crochet in the next stitch. And then you just continue that way across the row. So there's the first row, there's the second row. So you just continue to do that row after row. And I have nine rows for my scarf. For the hat, start with a foundation chain that will wrap around the head. And now slip stitch to join, being careful not to twist the chain. And I usually just run it through my fingers like that, keeping the chain all in the same direction. So you're going to slip stitch to join and then chain one, single crochet in that same stitch, 
double crochet in the next stitch, single crochet, double crochet, and then continue to work all the way around and I'll come back and show you what to do for the next row. Okay, I worked all the way across the row. I ended with a double. I started with a single. So I'm going to slip stitch to join. For the hat, you shouldn't have to fasten off after each row. You should just be able to carry the yarn up inside the hat. So now I'm going to pull in my new color. And there's no need to turn for this. So this is my single crochet. And there's my double. So that means I need to start with a double because I have to put a single here. So I'm going to chain two. And then I'm going to single crochet in that double and then I'm going to double crochet in that single and single and double and you're just going to continue that way across the row at the end of the row slip stitch to join in the top of the double crochet pull up the other color and then just continue to work around and around and then you'll have worked something that looks like this. Now this is for the adult size. I have nine rows. For children's sizes, you would likely only need seven rows. So now I'm just going to weave some yarn through the top of the hat and gather it up. And then I can just pull that to close it up and tie a permanent knot and then weave the yarn ends back into the finished work. And that's how you make the hat. And there you go. That's how easy it is to crochet this matching hat and scarf set. And you can make this scarf with or without the fringe. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you'll be able to make some matching hat and scarf sets for Christmas gifts. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.